Hello English 2 students. I want to talk to you about your last short constructed response of the year. Yay, this is our last short constructed response before we move on to other things. But your last constructed response revolves around Lord of the Flies. So as you can see, I have posted in Google Classroom the PDF file for Lord of the Flies. That is the book online and also the movie. So you should have watched the movie by now. And we have completed our Padlet discussion on that. So the prompt uh, for this SCR is, in your opinion, which character in Lord of the Flies has changed the most? Write a paragraph that is five to seven sentences using two pieces of textual evidence from the story to support your answer. You may use the PDF file that I have attached and you can also use a line from the movie. So I want to talk about the parts of an SCR because uh, most of you know how to write an SCR and you've been doing them for a while, but there are some elements that are still missing and I want to make sure that everybody is on the same page. So an example of a way to start a prompt is um, to say, in the Lord of the Flies, Ralph has changed the most of all of the boys on the island. The first supporting detail would be a quote from the story. Um, one supporting detail that I'm using as an example is, sucks to your auntie. And that is something that Ralph said. I don't have the page number for that, but he does say that. If you want to include the page number, that is great, but you will not need to include the page number as long as you have the quote. The explanation for that quote is, this evidence shows that Ralph mocked Piggy at the beginning of the story. The second supporting detail is, Ralph wept for the end of innocence, the darkness of a man's heart, and the fall through the air of the true wise friend called Piggy. Hopefully there are no spoilers at this point because most of you have watched the rest of the movie and uh, read the rest of the story. Something that explains that would be, this quote describes Ralph's change in attitude towards, this quote describes Ralph's change in attitude towards Piggy. Uh, in conclusion or the end, uh, the conclusion should always be at the very end of the paragraph. But this is the basic outline of what your SCR should look like. I have actually given you guys an example of uh, what a paragraph for this would look like. Of course, you're not going to copy it yourselves, but you may use this. So I'm going to um, read the, to you the paragraph in the parts that I have. In the Lord of the in The Lord of the Flies, Ralph changed the most due to his attitudes towards Piggy. That's the prompt. In the beginning of the story, Ralph and Piggy were the first two boys on the deserted island. Piggy tried to reach out to Ralph by telling him about the life at home with his auntie. Ralph would respond, sucks to your auntie. Uh, sucks to your auntie would be the first supporting detail. This shows that Ralph had no interest in knowing Piggy and he was dismissive of him as a human being. That is the first explanation. You always want to say this shows or this describes, explaining the quote in some way. Later on in the story, Ralph developed a friendship with Piggy. After Piggy dies, the story quotes, Ralph wept for the end of innocence, the darkness of a man's heart, and fall through the air of the true wise friend called Piggy. That is the second supporting detail for the quote that is in uh, the turquoise color. This quote describes how Ralph mourned for Piggy after his death. That is our second explanation. And then I have color-coded um, in the conclusion differently. In conclusion, Ralph changed the most because he went from being self-centered and dismissive to caring and compassionate for another person. That would be your conclusion. This right here, guys, is just an example of how you should be writing your SCRs. You should have a prompt. That's the one in yellow. You should have a your first supporting detail in green. You should have your first explanation. That's the one in turquoise. You should have uh, the second quote that is in light purple. You should have a second explanation. That's the one in dark blue. And you should have a conclusion. That is the very last statement. 
So I want to make sure that everybody is writing five to seven sentences for their SCRs and they have a prompt, two supporting details, an explanation for each detail, and a conclusion. I just want to make sure that everybody has that and I hope this helps. Have a great day. Good luck on writing your SCR. Talk to you later.